So the triangle is, if I had a line between my elbows, there's your triangle. It's formed by both forearms and a line between the elbows. That also relates to the three 90s that I talked about. There's a 90 degree between my forearms, a 90 degree between my bat and this forearm, and a 90 degree between my bat and this forearm. So what I want to do is I want to snap this bat, okay? Notice when I'm doing this and I start to get up to speed, my triangle is being kept, my 90s are being kept. And then as I swing, they're still there, okay? So that comes from, or part of what's important there is keeping the body fused into a unit so that as I pivot on my rear hip socket, those relationships are maintained. Once I'm not a fused unit and I start moving my arms to get the barrel of the ball, then everything distorts. I don't have the 90s, I don't have the triangle, okay? So when you put a strap around your neck, and hold the, which holds this top hand right here, all you're able to do is pivot your body, uh, pivot a fused body. Now, I have seen, I have used the strap before, where not only did they try to stay fused, but they also tried to push their arms. And even though the strap is there for them not to do that, they were still doing it. Okay, eventually you just gotta say, come on, do I need the strap? Can I just hold my hand right here and generate some force so that my hand is still there when I'm done? Okay, can't I learn to do this without a strap? Okay, make this muscle, hold it there, it ain't moving. And do it slow, and then work up to speed, and eventually you're gonna feel a lot of work coming out of your, your abs, your abdomen, your back, back muscles for sure, okay? And then, as you get, start receiving pitches from your golf whiffy ball machine. If they're low, you're gonna have to let the arms out. But when the pitch is low and you did it right, I'm gonna do it in slow motion, it'll look like this, to where your 90s are still intact, and then you let it out. When you don't do it right, you let it out instantly, okay? And when you let it out instantly, you're cutting off your body. You're cutting off the snap of the body. Your arms are taking over. When I do a clinic, I talk a lot about God gave us arms to reach for the salt and to reach for the ketchup and to throw a baseball. He did not give us arms to swing a bat. The arms are the enemy. You wanna lock them into place and you wanna be able to swing with a fused torso and then let it go as needed to get the ball to the pitch. If it's a high pitch, you don't have to let a high pitch down the middle. You don't have to do much change at all. You can hit that ball and stay fused. A pitch down the middle, a perfect pitch. You can do that pretty well also. But when they get a little outside, a little inside, a little low, then you gotta let it out. But the feeling is I'm still fused at launch, and then I let it out.